All right. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Angela Keeson, being with Angela Grace Events, where every day is a reason to celebrate. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm so excited because today I'm hanging out with my girl, Lauren Kimmins. My goodness, she is awesome. Um, she's the owner and founder of the OG the original, the pop-up <laughs> picnic co. <pole>, okay. <laughs> um, and what she does is she creates beautiful, beautiful um, picnics, intimate for two to 24 people. Is that right? Yep. Okay. We can do a little bit more at like a private residence, but yeah. we'll keep it to 24 in public. Yeah. And so we've done a lot of work together. Um, she's very creative. She's a mom and she's just really thriving in the season that we're in right now. And you guys know what we're talking about. <laughs> um, but she is, again, the owner of Pop-Up Picnic, Picnic Co. Um, luxury picnic service right here in San Diego. And she values relationships. She wants to support you and make sure that you have fun. Oh my goodness. It, everything she does is beautiful. I can't, I can't. It's just like jaw dropping. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it to you, Lauren. Thank you so much for being here. Um, tell yeah. us a little bit about your business and how you got started and all that fun stuff. Well, first off, thanks for having me. And I'm going to do this like every day if I can, because I like this ego boost. Like it's nice to hear all the nice things you have to say about me. So I love it. I love it. <laughs> and I have to say, thank you so much for that little sign that you created back there. It's just so clever. I, I can't. <laughs> well, I was like, okay, we do picnics, right? So like, it's all about the ambiance and like getting out and having fun with people, but in like a really pretty space, because I think that really helps people relax and have even more fun when it looks pretty and inspiring. And so I was like, I can't just have my ugly old fence in the backdrop. So we have some flowers from a, a like what we normally do for a picnic and a little basket. So I figured that's just a little touch of what we normally do. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, our picnics are really fun. Like the whole point is to have like micro celebrations so that you can go out and whether you're just celebrating a Friday night or a birthday or something, maybe a little bit more like special once in a lifetime. Uh, we've done weddings. We want you to have a really special intimate event with the people that you love and not have to worry about all the stuff that goes along with planning an event. So all the, the food and the everything we bring it we bring food we bring drinks we bring flowers fresh flowers so that you have that like instant party when you arrive and then we clean it all up and we take it all away so when you're ready to be done you could just go home go home <laughs> yeah and i love that oh my goodness <laughs> yeah. it's full service full circle you know you don't have to exactly. do anything you just show up to your party and then you have fun and then she comes and cleans it all up for you so yeah if that's not a good idea, I don't know what is. <laughs> I agree. I agree. And I um, but it. yeah, so go ahead. It's been interesting with like what's going on now because we're all about getting people together. Mm -hmm. um, I will say, like we did, we do a lot of like date night and couple type outings uh, for two people. So with that, we're able to kind of pivot a little bit in the current, you know, quarantine life that we're all living. Right. Um, and we're, we're kind of moving into a new space of like backyard picnics and like a little mini picnic delivery service because we have the food, we have the flowers. Uh, so we're kind of transitioning a little bit that way. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But um, I like that. Yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought, so I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no worries. That's just, we're just having a conversation here, girl. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I love is that you're so creative when it comes to designing and and branding, if you will, if we're talking about like working with a business, um, because that's, we've worked a lot on that um, type of stuff, you know, working for um, doing small businesses where some of my clients is, um, clients is. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. It's all, it's Friday. It's Friday guys. Exactly. Um, <laughs> at least it is when we're taping this. So, um, but yeah, so you do personal things for individuals for small parties and that's awesome. And you just get really creative. So you have a couple different themes, like you have a, was it boho? And then what are some of the other things that you have? 
So our boho is low tables and chairs. It's pillow seating, rugs, lanterns, uh, very bohemian looking, if you will. Uh, and then we have the original pop-up picnic, which I started like in 2010. I can't even believe I'm saying that. It was like 10 years ago. Um, we do tables and chairs. And so like the original, like the way I came up with all of this is I used to have a vintage rentals company and we started um, like we would do weddings and events and like big type things. And I thought, Hey, why can't we do tiny like micro events for every day? And so that spun into a Valentine's day, like one time only promotion, but like people would not stop calling us. And so Papa picnic was born. So that was like way back when. So that's why we had the table and chairs. And so that's, Angela has a little picture up on the screen there. Um, and with the table and chairs, it's nice if you have like limited mobility or people in your group that are a little bit older, can't really get down to the ground. Or if you just want a more formal feel, we have that. Um, the yeah. boho is definitely the most popular right now because it's just fun and casual and it just looks super cute, you know, so whatever you're fancy, we have it for you. Um, and then like, so we kind of like stick to a very specific, um, like a couple of things that we bring, but where we have fun and kind of get creative for each individual event is the flowers. And we can also customize with signage or paper goods, that kind of thing. So that's where we add those personal touches for each of our uh, specific clients. Awesome. And so I was trying to get up to your Instagram. Oh my goodness. Okay. When I was talking about beautiful, pretty, all things, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look at this. Um, and I was just saying that at first I was like, oh, it's such a tease, but you know what? It's such a <laughs> something to look forward to, right? Because it's like, oh, we're so, we're at home. Um, what can we do and how much longer it's going to last? But you know what? I think we got to look forward, right? And so I really appreciate that you're sharing these things. Um, I mean, the beach, we're in San Diego. So it's like the charcuterie, oh my goodness. Like, and, and I love that you partner with other businesses too, to really just make all of this come together. So there's that component yes. as well. So um, do you want to tell us a little bit about how you do that or? Yeah, so um, one of our food partners is Venissimo Cheese. Mm -hmm. So you get all of our cheese through them. So it's a local gourmet cheese shop. They have hundreds of options from around the world. So we have a couple of like tried and true favorites that we use, but then we also do a, usually like a seasonal cheese as our third option on all of the boards. Um, so you're trying different stuff every time that you come out. And then we do, so let me back up real quick. We do charcuterie boards as our main food offering. So that's meats, cheeses, and then little paired bites. So we always have something sweet, something savory, and something crunchy. Um, and it's a really good combination. So we got the cheese from Venissimo, and then we have meats from Mona Lisa Italian Market in Little Italy, and they have the best. It's nice, fresh cut, artisanal meats. They're like nothing weird, no like crazy ingredients. Um, they have a lot of great imported meats that we use. So sometimes we'll have like an imported prosciutto or a mortadella, which is like my favorite thing right now with like, <sighs> had a oh my God, I know. I like, I should have eaten lunch before I started talking about this because I'm like starving now. Um, but we pair both of those main parts of our boards with um, little pickles and fruits and dried little candies and nuts and all kind of little things. They just are so good together. So my favorite thing is like grabbing a little mini stack. I always have like a cheese of meat and then like five little things perched precariously on top. And I try to shove it in my mouth as fast as possible. <laughs> oh yeah. You don't have to ask me twice. Like you put me in front of that board and I'm just like, I, we, we, you did something for elite networking last year. And oh I'm yeah. Like, I am not going to be shy. I'm just going <laughs> to start eating. <laughs> so, and shout out to Cindy. I think like how we met. <laughs> yeah. I so, yes. And you know what? It's, <laughs> awesome. I love how that you, you know you collaborate with other businesses. Um, I love that you are still thriving and still you know making things happen, making things work. And um, yeah, so and I, I know that was for me one of the questions. I have one more. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I have to tell you about this. We started doing a collaboration with Good Time Cocktail Company, and so we're doing mocktails at all of our picnics now. I almost forgot to mention them. Yeah. Um, so. 
can't do alcohol. It's like such a bummer, but you're not supposed to have booze on the beach and you can't have glass. So we That's started true. doing um, little mocktail mixing kits with this local San Diego company that does all handcrafted mixers and garnishes and like their current kits. So like you get this kit, you make the mocktail according to your taste. So we include like a bottle of seltzer water and then you kind of like play mixologist and make up your own. Um, so the latest one we have is heartfelt hibiscus. So it's a hibiscus Ooh. syrup that they make in house from scratch, like no weird ingredients, no preservatives. And then they have glitter lemon sugar cubes, which are so adorable. <sighs> they like dissolve in your glass and they leave. No way. Glitter. It's so fancy. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, you're making me smile right now. Just thinking about I it. Like glitter and confetti and right. Drink. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> Like when we have people out for a picnic, even if it's just like I made it through the week, it's a mini celebration. So we yeah. want people to have fun. Yeah. And that's, so that's, that's what I believe. And I am behind you on that 100% because I totally feel like every day is a reason to celebrate. There's always yeah. a reason to celebrate. Yes, that's your tagline. Yeah. Sometimes you just <laughs> gotta find it. And sometimes it's right there in front of your face. But um, see, that that's what I love. What I love about you, you know, you can't have alcohol at the beach, but you figured, okay, what can I do so that the client still has this really awesome experience? Because that's what it is, right? You're yes. giving them that experience. It doesn't have to be alcohol, but you gave them a kit and you're like, oh, okay. It, was it the one in the box? I think it's scrolled past. Yeah. It's like, okay, so that's really cool. You're giving it to them. You're packaging it to, for them. So that's a little bit of a nice surprise. And then they get to put it together yeah. themselves, and that's part of the experience. And then they get to drink it and enjoy. So I love that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, we're, we're big on experience. Cause like, that's the thing, you know, uh, when I first started the business before I had like, you know, years to back it up, people are like, Oh, it's a picnic. Like, how do you do that? <laughs> And I'm like, well, it's not just a picnic, okay? Like, people are having fun. And it's like, you really get a chance to, like, relax because you're not doing all of the stuff. And so you enjoy yourself. And that's yeah. what we focus on is that experience for our clients is everything. And that's, like, start to finish from booking to, I don't even know. Yeah. Past <laughs> I have to say, you've done a really great job of letting people know what pop-up picnic is about. I think you have, like, a, there's a frequently asked pet, qu frequently asked questions page. I can't talk today. Um, and then you say, like, what is it? And then people can find out. And then you have a photo shoot that you've done. Um, you've really, like, painted a picture for people who don't know what it is. And I, let me tell you, I've referred people to you. Um, I just keep telling Thank people. Thank you. That. Like, it's different. It's unique. It's not your typical, like, okay, celebration, you know, we're, we're going to go to the club, right. go do this, which is all fine dandy. But if you want something unique, something intimate, yes. something that you're going to remember, then pop up picnic. Is the way to go. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Yeah. I'm impressed. You did a deep dive. I don't even know that I've looked at our FAQ page. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you're looking, you just don't look at your own business. Right. But during these times, it's so true. Yeah, I think during these times we we are doing our best to look into that. <laughs> yeah. um, which brings yeah. us to my next thing. Um, so the current situation, you say that you are staying afloat, that you're finding different ways to still stay in business by delivering and um, doing things for individual households like that. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, are there any other challenges that you're facing, and uh, what lessons are you learning from those challenges? Because I saw something really, um, something that you were doing really stood out to me. You could probably about that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny. Yeah, our business has taken a pretty substantial hit. So like all of our events for April are just canceled and then everything going forward is kind of in limbo. So I'm crossing our fingers that, you know, everything works out and us all staying home pays off and maybe by May or June we'll be out in public again. But, um, so that's been hard, but, and this is kind of where I got my inspiration from Angela actually was like, okay, I stayed home for like two weeks and was just kind of butthurt and like, oh, what am I going to do? And like, kind of like F this, I'm not doing anything, but you know, you come around Yeah. and, um, I realized, okay, my job now is content creator. I need to like inform people about what we do, you know? eventually people are going to start going out again. So I need to be prepared for when that time comes that everybody 
that has been at home staring at social media like I have been, you know, has had an opportunity to at least see what I've been posting or get information. And that's why I've been posting more. So I told Angela, like my job is content creator, you know, and I think that's like small business owner. That's what your job is right now. It's, you don't get to focus on the thing that you got into business for. Your job is to tell people what your business is, why you do it, why you love it, what drives you, you know, whatever, just kind of open that door. So people get a little bit more insight into you as a business owner and as a a business. Yeah. And I yeah. love that because I, I think I'd comment, I was like, oh, I love the stuff that you're putting out. And you're like, my new job is content creator. And I was like, boom, yeah. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. Like, it's hard. <laughs> it can I mean, be, yeah. Like, especially like people that are like, I think some people have a knack for like marketing and like communication. I think you're one of those people. You're good at it. And it's like, as an events person, you have to wear a lot of hats because not only are you organizing an event, but then you have to like get people engaged in it. So I feel like that's a lot. And I don't know that normal like business owners are used to doing the nine different jobs that come in with being like a marketer slash slash promoter. You know what I mean? Like that's right. what you do. your job is basically like 10 people's job. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of moving pieces and like, and my favorite part is, you know, the planning and the promotion side and that's what I do. And so I have fun with both of those things. And so I think you're doing a really great job of it. Not only do you have like the, the photos, but like you, I could see like the personal branding and just the oh, genuine, um, I could just feel you coming through. And I think that's the most cool. important thing. So like if, if you're, for those of you who are watching, you're like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to write. Just write whatever's on your heart. You can edit it down if you want to. Um, but putting yourself out there, I think right now, like you said, as business owners, as entrepreneurs, um, for people in the industry or in any industry where everything has just come to a halt, it's very important that you still yeah. stay top of mind, tip of tongue, and really just keep pushing yourself. It's challenging, yes. guys. You know, we just have to keep in action. Yeah. And, and I really appreciate that. And I want to just um, speak to something that you said earlier about how, you know, um, you come in and you do everything, right? You, it's, and you're kind of teaching people what your business is about and how to interact. And so like, I will say that I've done some picnics and it's not always pretty, <laughs> especially no, when it's hard work with like shopping bags of things and you got to hide everything and put it under the table, but then the wind's blowing and you're like, ah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I call myself like professional Sherpa because you're just like used to carrying stuff everywhere. And it's like, okay, how do I pack this strategically so I can carry a table and put something on my back and carry all my lanterns? I like the jingle jingle. Like, do you guys remember, um, what is that, Mary Poppins? When uh, Dick Van Dyke favorites. is like the one man band and yes. he's got like all the bells. That's what I look like because I'm like <laughs> making noise and I have like things coming out of everywhere. And it's I've so seen fun. you, you guys. I've seen her pack her. What kind of truck you have? <laughs> oh, I have a Prius. You have a Prius? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but I've seen you like in three different cars. The Prius, there's you, oh, where yes. you have like a, a truck and then yes. recently, like an SUV, but. I mean, it's, it's yeah. a puzzle piece. It's, it's a, it's, it, is. It, is, it is very strategic. And if you know your yeah. stuff, you know your stuff and you know exactly where it goes. And so <laughs> you do know your stuff. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, I mean, I think that's great. I'm so glad that you're putting that content out there and that you're staying connected with people because at the end of this, my, my kid's waking up now. <laughs> at the end of this, people are going to be calling you and saying, Hey, I want to get yeah. to, the, I want to have this picnic. Um, you right. Know, I want to celebrate the fact that, you know, we're out and about hundred <laughs> percent. And I think like to other business owners, people are going to go ham. As soon as this is over, everyone is going to like run out of their house and like try to do and consume as much as they possibly can. So keep that in mind and be ready. You know, that's kind of my goal. No, you're right. Be ready for the, you know, the outpour of people calling you. I think that's the next thing we have to consider, right? People yeah. right now are like, oh my gosh, business is slow. Nothing's happening. Yeah. I think like we were talking about, you got to look forward and figure out, okay, how am I going to handle all the business that's going to come my way when all of this is over? So um, what are you doing now to like really 
position yourself so that you're ready for that. Like for me, I mean, I yeah. love live events, in-person events, but you know, I've got to take a look now and see like, okay, how am I going to, you know, really position myself to be somebody who plans virtual events as well. And so yeah, there's a lot of similarities there, but there's a lot of technology and things that I still have to figure out too. So I think, you know, we're yeah. all in a position where we need to learn. And that's one of the things that we can't stop doing as, you know, as people and especially as business. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I think I'm like just really focusing on like how micro events are kind of like moving into like more milestone celebrations, you know, and like, how can we give people the most impact for like, like if it's a wedding or if it's, you know, a 25th anniversary, like something where you might have, you know, 100 or 200 people at this party, but like, we might not be able to go back to gigantic parties like that. You know what I mean? Like, just getting that many people in one space might, I don't know, might not happen. I know. So, <laughs> I wonder like, if that's going to be, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's totally possible that that's like going to be the new frontier. So then I'm like, well, like, let's make the event that we have like really, really special. Right. So we might be doing like better florals or like more quality versus quantity type of things. Um, okay even more like experiences included in each of the events, you know, like I think people, well, we're all still going to exist, right? Like as events professionals, right. I just think like, we're not going to be, time is going to be shorter and like, we're going to have to give a little bit more value in that time. Does that make sense? So yeah. I, like, I, I think agree. People will be like, okay, I need a videographer like they'll finally see the value of some of these people that they're like, I don't need a video and a photo. You know what I mean? Like they will do both of those because they want to share it with people like virtually or whatever. Right. Right. Or, or that so. it's going to be like a hybrid. I keep saying like it, hybrid yes. events where it's like, there's less people yes. live and then the rest are watching from the internet. Um, 100%. So, yeah. And it's going to be crazy because I feel like there is going to be some fear where, you know, yes, there's going to be people rushing out to do all the things, but there's going to be a handful or a lot of people who are going to be still kind of scared, you know, for that first wave and maybe like, okay, I don't think yeah. I'm going to wait <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah. So, yeah. There's going to be a lot of transition there, I think. And so, um, you're, you're right. We're going to have to just be creative and look at things a little bit differently and figure out, you know, what's going to work and what's not. And it's going to be a lot of testing and, and experimenting even yeah. now. I think so too. So uh, I'm excited to see what happens. <laughs> I know, me too. I was just thinking about that too. Like, oh, how is it going to look? Like, what's the event industry going to be like, you know, two, right. three, six months down the road? Um, I, I do want to say that our industry has been really Whoa. great about um, being resourceful and um, yeah. changing things up and sharing things. So that's my little guy now. Hold on. Hi. <laughs> Um, I do want to ask you, like, I know, thank you so much for saying that I was so part of your inspiration. I really appreciate that. Um, but what are some other things that are inspiring you right now to just share your content um, in just, you know, um, aside from like other creators or is there anything specific that you're like, hmm, this is really important for me. And like, what is, what is the, the driving force? Yeah, for I feel like, um, I, okay, so I have to confess that I am like a little bit behind the eight ball in terms of like getting on social media and connecting with people that way because I really love connecting with people in person, but that's not happening now. So um, I feel like I've really stepped up my game with like LinkedIn. I'm trying to like kind of reach out more to like some of those business contacts. Um, and then TikTok, I know like it's been out and I don't know why. I like resisted it for so long, but I'm really embracing it now. So, but it's like, it's hard. I love it's, TikTok. I feel like such a dork, like putting my videos out and I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. I don't feel like I've quite found my like brand voice there yet. Cause like my natural Lauren in person is like funny and I can be kind of silly and I'm very like, what you see is what you get. But then like, when I put things out as a business, as pop-up picnic company, I, I have like filter after filter 
not like actual filters, but like, I don't like to, I'm very hesitant to post things. Like, I, I think I'm just like super private in a way that I didn't realize I was. And so it's like, it's hard for me. And so like, I'm okay. trying to like navigate that space because it does feel very relaxed and casual, but I'm like, how casual is too casual? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm trying to figure it out. I, I know how you feel. And you know, I'm, I need to go back on LinkedIn. I have not looked at that account in so long. Somebody actually just messaged yeah. me. It was Mandy, actually. She was like, I was wondering why we weren't friends on TikTok. Nice. It was like, it's, it's pending probably for like the last year. Or so. <laughs> but anyways, like, I know how you feel. It's like, but then they always say, you know, pick one or two places to live or to hang out. And then, you know, let yeah. those places where you really are consistent, be good in a couple of places and then start adding, you know, the other ones. I think right now, of course, we have time to, to dive into these other things. I'm really having fun with TikTok just because yeah. dances. And for me personally, I love to dance. So I was like, this is great. And I was like, I love your dances. <laughs> Thank you. And at first I was I love like, them. Thank you. At first I was like, oh, what is this? What do people even care about this? But I was like, you know what? It, it shows that people keep talking about like humanizing your business as if we're not humans, you know, but it's just like, I get it. Right. I think sometimes we are just yeah. like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? And we just get into this like rut where we're thinking and thinking and we don't post anything. So I was like, okay, well, that's me. <laughs> yeah. But you've been posting, you know, I think, I think maybe look at some, some of the other people. I'll share some of the other um, people that I started following that are like, oh my gosh, they're really cool. And they're doing these really um, creative things with their business or like, like, I don't know, like you could talk about, I think there was something where I shared recently about how to support other businesses. And I was just like pointing. I loved things. that. Yes. It was yes. so smart. And it was like, it was entertaining, but it's great content. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, I have to like make my notes because again, I'm an old lady. So I'm writing in my paper notebook, you know? And I'm like, I still like reading too. No, but even like your, your little signs, you could change the sign and make like, yeah. I don't know. Like, it's a good idea. Yeah. So like, Oh, I like that. Make a message with it. And then I don't know, or take different yeah. pictures of flowers. It's just get creative with it. I'm, Girl, I'm, that's so smart. I want to do that today. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Thank you. Like, this is really fun. I'm having so much fun talking to you. About this. Me too. Um, I will say like for anyone that's like not really into posting things about themselves, which I share that same feeling. There is some validation, like eventually people will like, it will hit the right people and it'll yeah. resonate and you're like, okay, cool. Like I'm starting to find my people, you know what I mean? And like, yeah. I think that's like the ultimate goal for a business is like, we put all our stuff out there and we want the immediate reaction of like, this is getting likes or whatever, right. but it doesn't always happen, but eventually it does. And then it gets to a point where like now you're like hitting your groove with your people, you know? And so no, I agree. I'm not there yet. I'm hoping that <laughs> no, I agree. It's like finding your tribe. And I think with more time, like I just hit a thousand followers on Instagram and I was like, Oh wow. I I've had my account for several years, you know, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're right. It's not about the likes and the follows. It's more about that engagement and connecting with people and just finding, um, helping people find you. And so the more that you post and you're consistent, yeah. I think that people are going to find you. The right people are going to find you. Um, and when you post stuff that's easy to share, like all of your cool, you know, picnics, like people like me in the industry are going to share it. And, you know, people who are interested are going to be like, oh, like this, or check this out, you know, so you're doing a great job. <laughs> Just keep creating. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So how do you, um, I know we kind of talked a little bit about the future, but how do you see your business kind of evolving from what it was um, to, you know, after all of this happens? I know we're kind of in the thick of it right yeah. now. So what do you see in the future? I think like what I really wanted to focus on this year was like adding kind of the, sorry, I lost my, like the right word for it, but like, I want to make things more personal and like just have a nice quality product. You know what I mean? Like right now with the pro with our picnics, it's very, I'm a systems person. So like when we do our, our picnics, it's for time and efficiency and like giving you the best possible picnic that I can, um, in a way that works out in public. But what I want to start focusing on is events 
that have a little bit more freedom, almost like a wedding, but like bringing in those personal touches. So like doing like really gorgeous florals and not me, I should say, like having an actual floral designer, you know, bringing in a private chef so we can do like real di custom dinners. Um, and, like just kind of like taking what is at my core because I've kind of like distilled everything down to like mm -hmm. its best possible process. Right. And now I want to like take that like core and just like, like watch it kind of and blossom into like yeah. the most beautiful thing it could be. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the perfect so, word. <laughs> so that's kind of what I want to focus on is like bringing in more quality, bringing in more luxury, bringing in more just like fabulousness. So yeah. that like, cause I think like our picnics, what I really focus on a lot of the time is like packing a visual punch. Mm -hmm. And so now I just want to like embellish that and like really go crazy with it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm excited for that because what you already yeah. offer right now, like it, it makes a huge difference. Like we did the workshop um, last year I did a, a workshop live yeah. Um, and you created this little nook and it was like, it, it was like a focal point and it's just design is not my thing, but like, I look, I love looking at pretty things. <laughs> so that's why I hire you. Um, but I think it's just so important to have that aspect and that ambiance and really, like you said, focusing on the quality. And I'm really excited to see what that's all going to look like and how Thanks. it's going to unfold, um, especially as, you know, we're able to gather again together. <laughs> yes. And I'm crossing my fingers. I have this like corporate event, hopefully in June. And I'm like, please come together because it just sounds like such a cool place to kind of start with this like more designy um, aesthetic. So everybody cross your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw that you're, you're, you're getting packages. So you're ordering things. So you're still like keeping things up with, you know, design yeah. and around with things. Is there any, I am like, I can't sit still. It's kind of a bad thing. Like my business hat is like, stop buying things. But my creative hat is like, girl, like quarantine shopping time. Like, let's yeah. do this. And so, um, like we needed some more, um, pieces cause we have enough inventory. Like I said, for 24 to do like our regular sit down dinner. Cause we do, um, hammered copper cups and uh, little wood chargers at each setting. But like, I have to, if we do more, people I have to have like enough for each setting so we ordered some really cool acrylic cups from uh, West Elm to kind of mix into the inventory and so I'm like starting to grow the inventory to do larger events and it's just a slippery slope I got new umbrellas this year which I'm gonna show everybody soon nice. Ooh. Uh, it's just fun yeah we got new rugs this year so I think it's also important to like kind of keep it fresh yeah. you know because it's like yeah. I want people to like have a new fun experience. And if you've booked with us before, I don't want it to feel stale if you come out with us again. So. Right. Right. Do you guys have a lot of return um, clients? Not as many as I'd like. I think yeah. I honestly like a handful and they're like our core people and they return time and again. Right. I right. think like our business really appeal like there's a group of picnic people that I didn't know existed before I started this business and like we've kind of tapped into them where they're like I do this every year now I know of a service where I don't yeah. have to do all the work you know what I mean yeah. um I like a wonder. lot of people no go ahead yeah. I, was just, I was gonna say you should start a Facebook group for picnic well not the picnic That's people cute. like you know yes. your picnic people <laughs> right no, I like that. Ooh, okay. Um, uh, that's, uh, you're full of great ideas. <laughs> <laughs> for other people, well, like when we start talking, I'm like, well, they start coming. But for me, I'm like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's the thing. That's why I love getting out with people. Cause it like gets your like mental juices flowing. Yeah. But, um, that's awesome. what was I going to tell you? I forgot. Sorry. You're talking about picnic. You found a pick a group of picnic people out there and they come. Yes. Well, I didn't realize like so many people have, you know, either gotten engaged or um, just have like really special memories around picnics. And so like those are like our core group of people that like kind of come back for as repeat yeah. customers. Um, but I would like to kind of like emphasize that with new people that are experiencing our picnics, like for their proposals and that kind of thing right. and kind of get them to like honor that special event in their lives on like a regular basis yeah so that would be nice to kind of have more 
return customers. Oh, speaking of kids, I, I see oh. one coming. This way. <laughs> it's okay. Say hi. What about store? Hey, Julian. Do you have any video testimonials from your um the video testimonials from your previous clients? No, I'm so like I'm always like scared so to ask cool. people. Like I don't uh, want to disturb them. Uh, but um I maybe need not to on the day like, of. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of written ones. Yeah. Um, but not not video ones. But I love that because yeah. that was one of my things is like could we even just at the picnic site because if I'm not doing it, one of our employees is. And so we could just like film it like, Hey, what do you think of your picnic? But yeah. I don't know. Is that weird? I know what you mean. Cause you don't want to disturb the flow. Ooh. Right. I, it could be a voiceover. It could be like a photo and maybe they do a voiceover on the, Oh, I like that idea. No, but I think that'd be really cool if you're telling like, um, or even invite them for like a, I don't know, like, uh, invite them for a picnic, invite past clients for a picnic. Yeah. So they have them just meet each other, talk maybe, or they have different slots and then you kind of have like somebody come record. Oh, I like that. Testimony, like, especially if it's like their engagement or their anniversary and it right. was a surprise, maybe just like hand pick a couple and then invite them for a, That's like, such a, a good complimentary idea. picnic. Cause I think that would be cool. I love that. Stories. Yeah. I'm getting well, excited. I, <laughs> honestly, I've been wanting to do like a dinner that's like, a group type of thing uh -huh. and it might be fun to start with like past clients you know they already like the experience oh julian is here come on you want to say hi <laughs> hi kitty say hi i love it <laughs> he's got a shark hat so cute oh yeah um i am terrified of the sun for him <laughs> oh yeah but I'm like, there's not enough sun protection for kids. Cause like, I like to just have him outside as much as possible, but like, I don't know. Sunscreen is kind of a pain to apply. On oh a baby. yeah. I don't know. It's sticky. These are just my thoughts. Okay. It is. It's terrible. <laughs> not my favorite. Even but it's hard right. to like put him in all kind of clothes. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh gosh. I, I, I know. I've, well, um, have you ever tried the spray and then it's just like, the wind blows it into your face. Yes. Well, then I like feel like a terrible person because I'm like, are you like going to have like some weird lung cancer in like 30 years? Like what's happening? I know. It's crazy. We, we're trying to be, trying to be healthy, trying to do all the right things. And it's like, that's the thing. Something else. I know too much. <laughs> I know too much. Like tell me less information, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm having so much fun. Thank you for being here. Is there anything else that you want to share? about your business or that you want um, a message that you want to share to everyone watching. Um, how can we get in touch with you? Yeah. Come visit me on Instagram um, at popuppicnic.co. And if you are getting bored and you want to have a quarantine picnic, let me know. We'll come do a no contact delivery to your house. Uh, we'll set it up in the backyard or the front yard, wherever you want, as long as it's not a park. And, um, yeah, we could do that for you. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. That's basically it. Follow me on TikTok if you want to see it get yeah. real weird. <laughs> I'll put your links <laughs> down below. Thank you so much. And you know what? Do you have any? And, and I don't. I know I didn't send you this as a pre question, but do you have any advice for somebody who maybe wants to do a picnic at home? Like so, last yes, week did a little date night for me and my husband. But is yes, it, what what? Uh, ideas or suggestions do you have to I literally think keep it as simple as possible okay don't like overthink it all you really need is a blanket and wine that's it <laughs> yes cheese and crackers um, exactly like I I tried to do a backyard picnic photo shoot for like my Instagram with my family, it turned into like legit almost fight with my husband, like babies crying, nobody's eaten. We're like an hour late. I'm like, F it. We're not doing anything. And I was like, this is why I have a business because this is terrible. Right. But keep it simple. Like just have a, a blanket and a bottle of wine and maybe like a cute little handwritten note. Meet me Aww. outside at X time, you know? That's sweet. A yeah. Lot. Oh, you know? and you know, yeah, that's awesome. I feel like we're, we, we even just as people have to get outside of the box and yes, you know, we, me and my husband didn't have a date for a long time before this happened. And I was like, we had cooked spaghetti, we had wine. And then I told the kids, Oh, like, that's nice. Hey, why don't you set the table up and just let me and daddy sit there and we'll have a date. And, and we did, and we even danced and like slow dance. <laughs> 
I love that. Yes. And I was asked, I was like, do you think we'd be doing this if COVID-19 wasn't here? So I'm like, I have to say like, there's yes. some good that's, com- that's coming out of this. We just have to look for it. We have to find it. Um, Big time. Yeah. And, and, you know, my heart goes out to all the people who are really affected. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And thank you so much for being here. So pop up picnic dot co on instagram and then um pop yes. up picnic dot co is the website as well so i'll put all of that yes down below if you want a picnic a quarantine picnic lauren's and i'm gonna post yeah exactly quarantine picnic <laughs> and i'm gonna post more more ideas like that because i love that like just little like quirky cute things that you can do to kind of brighten your day so yeah I love that okay well thank you for helping us celebrate (laughs) during this time and every other time um we hope that you continue to thrive in your business and we're gonna look out for that awesome content on your Instagram and TikTok yay (laughs) thank you yeah and then um I just thank you so much for being here all right. And so thanks for having me. Yeah. So that's Lauren from Pop Up Picnic Co. And I'm Angela Keeson Bing from Angela Grace Events. Remember to make every day a reason to celebrate. Thanks so much. Remember to follow us, Angela Grace Events, on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. Um, my TikTok is Angela Grace Celebrates. So <laughs> we'll see you all on social media and we will see you in person when all of this is over. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.